Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set based on bar and line graph. So it says that there are four matches in a series, and the top four batsmen for the team were Jatin, Kamal, Lokesh, and Mohit. The stack graph below shows the contribution of these batsmen as a percentage of runs scored by the top four batsmen in that match. The line graph shows the runs scored by other batsmen. As a percentage of runs scored by the top four batsmen in that match, so they have explained by example also that, for example, in first match, Mohit scored 20% of the runs scored by top four batsmen. So Mohit is the yellow one. So if you see this, this is 80 to 100. So he scored 20% of the total of the top four batsmen. Okay, 20% from top four. This is a percentage from top four batsmen. And the remaining team scored 25% of the runs scored by top four batsmen. So this team, this is 25 between 20, uh, 20 and 30, it is 25 percent of top four. Okay. Now we are also given that total runs uh, by the team in matches 1, 2, 3, 4 are 275, 252, 255, and 264, respectively. Okay. Now, how to solve this question is uh, the, the easiest way to do is these are top four. So top four score 100%. I mean, that is 100% in each of the matches. And the rest of the players as a percentage of this, so this is as percentage of this. So this is 25. This is 30. Okay. This is, uh, right. This is 40%. This is 50%. And this is 65%. Right? So these are the runs scored by other batsmen. So total score is 125% of, of the top four that is given to us. 140% top four. These are the numbers that are given to us. Okay. So now let us solve these questions. Uh, let us see the questions also and solve this and find the values. So 275. 252, 255, and 264 are the runs scored. Okay. So this is 4 is 100%. This is 25%. So 125%. This is 140%. 150%. And this is 165%. Okay. So if 125% is 275, 125% we know is 5 by 4, okay. So the total uh, runs by these top 4 will be 275 into 4 by 5, which will be 220. So 220 by these top 4 and 25% of 220, that is uh, 1 fourth, this will be 55. Okay. You can uh, separately calculate the values. Similarly, 140% is 252. So total will be 180. 150% is 255. Right. 3 by 2 times. So two third of this will be 170. Okay. And 165% is 264. Now you must be thinking that how to uh, divide by 165%, right? And get the answer very quickly. See this. All these are multiples of 5%, right? This is 55, right? This is, uh, these are in multiples of 5, like 15%, 10%. So 1 by 20, see 5% of what number is? 5% of 20 is integer, okay? Now, if these are multiples of 15, let us say 15%, 15% should be an integer. Now it cannot be a multiple of 10 to be to give this as an integer. Suppose the total is uh, 10, 15% so of 10 is 1.5. These numbers should be integers. So this number should be a multiple of 20. Okay. Uh, now if you see 140 into 165, right? We could have 140, 160, 1.65 and 1.65. 16 into 15 is 240. Right, so this cannot be 264. 16 into 16, 256. So we get the total as 160. 
okay the number that we were talking about okay by top four and uh, the remaining will be 65 percent of this so let us make a table and fill the values okay so we know that uh, others is 25 percent of this so that is 55 in this match it is uh, 40 percent of 180 that is 72 you can directly subtract also this is 85 and this is 104 so this is by others okay total is already known to us that is 275 252 255 and 264 all right so we'll calculate the values this is 15 percent or 220 that is 33 okay this is 15 to 55 40 percent that will be 88 this is 55 to 80 25 percent 55 and this is 20 percent 44 this is 20 percent of 180 36 okay this is 15 percent of 180 that is 27 this is 25 percent so 45 and 40 percent that is 72 okay uh, 10 percent of 170 that is 17 this is 20 percent that is 34 uh, this is 30 to 60 30 percent that is 51 and this is 8 okay now this is 55 percent of 160 55 50 is 80 so 88 this is 55 to 75 20 percent 32 that is 15 percent 24 and 10 percent is 16 so these are the runs scored by these player okay now let us answer the questions who scored the maximum number of runs in the series okay uh one way is to add these of course we'll add and get the answer but can we answer the question without adding the values let us see if we can uh, answer by just observing the graphs okay so uh, let's find out that if that is possible then nothing like that so if you see that uh, Lokesh uh, ne, Jatin scored high in uh, only one of the matches in three matches his performance was low okay uh, then we see Kamal scored uh, average in all the matches same goes for uh, uh, Lokesh also Mohit was the top scorer in two matches okay where the uh, and he is low in two matches okay so again uh, from the graph we cannot get conclusively so we will have to find out but we will not get definitely for Jatin because Jatin's score is low so let us add these also so this will give us 86 174 and this is uh, 61 uh, and 93 181 100 175 and that is 140 140 plus 60 200 so our assumption that mohit could be the top scorer is correct because he is the top scorer in two of the matches see 40 40 percent in two matches okay and in other two he's he's average in this low in one of those so still he makes to the top one okay so mohit is the top scorer now, in which match did Lokesh achieve his highest score in the series? So, Lokesh had the highest in match 1. Okay. Should have been match 1, match 2, match 3, match 4. So, match 1 is this highest. Now, this could not have been answered by without finding the values. Because, see, uh, one could say that he scored 25%, uh, like he scored 30% of the total runs. But the total score was less in that. Okay. So uh, that is why it was uh, it was from this graph. Okay, in the match in which the contribution by Mohit was equal to the contribution by other players, runs scored by Kamal were what percentage of total runs? So he is talking about one match in which Mohit is equal to other players. So that is match two. So he is saying that runs scored by Kamal were what percentage of total runs? So Kamal scored. 15% out of 140% isn't it you do not need to calculate from this see you can see the graph right 
for this question you do not need to calculate all these values see we have to say that where in which mohit is equal to other players so other is 40 and mohit is also 40 percent in this okay now kamal scored 15 percent of the total runs of the total 140 percent of the runs so 15 by 140 into 100 so 75 by 7 that is 10.71 uh, percent which of the following statements is correct mohit scored his best in match 3 so let us see in which match did Mohit score his best. So Mohit scored best in match 2. So that is incorrect. Lokesh score in all matches was a multiple of 5. Right. So that is incorrect. Kamal scored more than half of his total runs in the series in match 1 itself. So Kamal scored total 181. More than half? No. Jatin scored one third of the total runs in match 4. So Jatin scored... Uh, 264 was the total and he scored one third of the total runs right so one third of this is correct so that is the uh, answer so this is the correct statement out of the given ones so this is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions